with heat like this, we have to think about our pets and our lives as well. We know how we feel, but dogs actually have a much lower tolerance for higher temperatures. And veterinarians warn that missing the signs early could not be good news for your pet. In fact, could be deadly. J.D. Miles live for us from the North Park Dog Park in Dallas with what we should all be watching for with our pets in the coming days. J.D. <laughs> Doug, if your dog hasn't had a summer shave like Dusty here, you may want to consider getting one with scorching temperatures arriving early this year. Area vets say as little as two to three minutes outside during the heat of the day can cause a dog distress. Danny is one of the few dogs out at this far north Dallas dog park in the middle of the day. I'm really surprised today because usually it's a lot more busy at this time. Owner Melanie Vargas says she worries about the heat's effect on her Australian Shepherd. Other dog owners like Jonathan Martinez left the park after less than a half hour. I say whenever you feel hot or you're thirsty, I think it's a good time to kind of you know, take the dogs inside. There's no rule or clear signal that your dog may be overheated, but local animal clinics say it takes only two to three minutes in a vehicle or outside for it to happen. Dogs naturally run hot. You know, they learn run, their temperature is much hotter than humans, so if they're already in somewhere hot, they just can get, you know, bad real fast. Dogs don't sweat, so their bodies retain heat. They also go everywhere barefoot, which doesn't go well with hot pavement. The paws is mainly what we worry about. Also, their personals, when they sit down, they can, you know, they don't have any hair down here, so they can uh, burn that really easily. Hmm. Now, there is a test you can do to find out if your dog is dehydrated. Find some loose skin, lift it, and if it falls slowly, your dog is dehydrated. Now, that's a good test to find out if your dog needs water or needs to come inside from the cold. Vets also warn that light-skinned dogs can sunburn just like humans. Some interesting facts and things you might need to know throughout the summer. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. Almost like